Usually Tos 5 does our annual survey. Oh yeah? Um, for any sort of aircraft operation. What's the length of those ones, Rob? Um, usually about 18 metres. Yeah. Um, and we also have disablements, we disable zones as we need to disable them, um, for open deck basically as far as the corridors go, we're able to close the doors there too automatically. We can also set cargo hold ventilation, engine room ventilation, accommodation ventilation, can be stopped from here. You can start three fire pumps from here, so we have two fire pumps in the engine room, and we have a third emergency fire pump in the folks yeah, with its own closures uh, annually, which means you have to physically open the uh, and take this cover off and get inside the actual duct and reset it after you've tested it. Yep. And then uh, working our way to the engine room, CO2 here, the control rooms off to my right, through this door on the right here, where everything is controlled for fire suppression, running the ship. We're just working down to the engine room now, hose reels. We're going to have a look at the sapphire suppression system. Should be relabeled as sapphire, not halo. Yeah, just get it up to date. Yeah, still works. So there's the siren and the light. Um, and you'll see these are everywhere. Right over there. The workshop. And portable foam. Compressed vessels. Just a quick 360 in the engine room. Caused by that. There's this is a turbocharger. And in the fuel system, because everything vibrates. For years and years and years. Twice the fires down here have been caused by a ruptured pipe in the fuel system spraying hot fuel, oh sorry, spraying fuel onto hot turbochargers and it just explodes and gets worse and worse. We have fuel shutoffs on the outside of the vessel that we can control it with. Yeah, yeah. only for our, my guys you just show what's, yeah, what's it's, about. That's just something that happens in ships you've got all these prior. You know? That is so this is the shaft pump. Shaft pump, that's the lowest point in the vessel. Unless you're inside a tank. Uh, it's got the fire hose right down the end here as well. And this is typically what your point surveyor will look at to make sure these are working. Is so that the big dampers I can see above? Yeah, on those fans in there. We have more ventilation dampers here, but you notice they're all going to have to be manually closed. Have to have an emergency fire pump separate from the engine space. Yep. So this would this would keep your vital navigational equipment going and your fire pump and that sort of thing. So yeah, maximum 140 because there's two offerings.
it's there. And that's why that piece of deck in D-deck has your Class A deck. It's insulated. Mm -hmm. Because it's directly above the galley. Yeah? Yes. And so there's also other areas here that have Class A deck. This is directly above the main area of the engine room. Yep. There's different products that they use. Tunnel. So we can actually get better reception down that end of the ship. Which we